Do you have an event business, but you can't figure out how to get clients, specifically dream clients for your event business? Well, I'm gonna let you know that it's probably 90% of the marketing strategies that you're using that's not attracting your dream clients. So if you wanna know what marketing strategies you might be making that are really driving away your dream clients, please keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I wanna do is inspire the event design and you and I want to go over just a little bit background knowledge of what marketing is and why is important for sales in my coaching program party like a CEO I'm always telling my designers marketing and sales walk hand in hand they love each other they're married to each other and they cannot live without each other so therefore if you're not generating sales I guarantee you it's a marketing problem in your business and I want to discuss some mistakes that a lot of people are making when it comes to your event business because this is what's driving away the traffic of potential clients that could be booking your services today the first marketing strategy that is not working for your event business is not knowing what your value proposition is a value proposition is designed to basically tell your potential clients what type of company you own and what kind of services you provide for your clients it really defines what your business stands for what it values or what is the mission behind your services it also discusses how you operate and why your event business should should be chosen over your competitors in your industry. You have to think about it. Your clients are looking all over the place. They're looking on Google, they're looking on Instagram, they're looking on Facebook, they're looking everywhere for someone to work with when it comes to their events. So a value proposition basically states what your business is known for and how you can help solve the problem for your clients. Your potential clients and everyone who follows you hears so much noise. You're not the only one they're looking at. According to Forbes.com, just like you and I, are bombarded with between 4,000 and 10,000 ads per day. So there's a lot of noise that your clients are hearing. A value proposition is basically what makes you stand out from the rest. And I will tell you this, it's you. You're different, you're unique, that's why you're here. But your brand has to represent that when it comes to people finding your website, when people comes to finding your social media. Because these are all the marketing tools technically you need to get in front of more people so they know about your services. The next marketing strategy that my designers tend to make when it comes to their event business is targeting the wrong audience. There's a difference between targeting the wrong audience and targeting the wrong dream clients. But for now, because we're focusing more on strategies when it comes to marketing, we'll talk about the target audience versus the dream clients if you want to see more information about how to book more dream clients in your event business feel free to comment down below and let me know um, specifically the questions you have that way I can make a video that specifically answers that question and if your question is chosen I'll definitely shout you out on the video because it's probably a really good question that most people are asking most of the time in my coaching program we emphasize showing up on Instagram as one of the marketing tools that we go to when it comes to booking the, your clientele for your business. So you want to focus on what attracts people in the first place versus actually booking because otherwise you'll be booking the wrong clientele and the wrong clientele are all the people who give you a hard time with your price who are always cheap and trying to save and pinch pennies or coins and who never see the value of your work. So those are the people you want to avoid but it starts with your marketing. The next marketing strategy that's probably not working for your event business is there's no clarity as to why your audience should actually book your services. When I scroll through Instagram and when you guys message me on Instagram, I'm always peeking in to see what type of profile, what type of Instagram and kind of going through the rabbit hole of your business. Some there's nothing there to offer, which is fine because maybe you're just getting started. But most of you that do have a business social media specifically on Instagram, a lot of of you are trying to recreate what inspires you now don't get me wrong inspiration is great but if you're mimicking someone else's business and someone else's design why would anybody buy from you specifically in your community as well when there's no clarity of your audience there's no difference with your business versus someone else's what makes you different what makes you you what clients would actually want to book your services and why do they want to book them a lot of people get hung up on the competition that is 
used in not just our industry but in your community and worry about what other people are doing instead you need to focus on what your dream clients want and how can you book them and if you're struggling with that i have a secret guide that you can download today that walks you through a checklist of really how to book your dream clients because this guide basically will walk you through things that you probably aren't doing when it comes to selling to your dream clients so make sure if you're interested feel free to download i'll put it below this video in the description box so you're able to get those dream clients in the door so speaking of competition <laughs> the next marketing strategy that definitely doesn't work for your event business is focusing on your competitors versus your business in my coaching program we actually have a lesson called competitors research and yes i tell my designers to look up their competitors and see what they're doing <laughs> but i promise you it's with intention but the one thing i do stress when it comes to their research with their competitors is to not follow them not focus on them and once they find information that we need to strive their business forward we are done looking at them. After that lesson, there is nothing in my coaching program that ever tells my designers to continue to focus on their competitors. And it's for a reason. I already know what you're doing. I know you're watching your competitors. I know you're on Instagram and you're scrolling through and you're going through the explore page. You're going through, you're following people in your community and you're even figuring out that people are doing the same thing you're doing and you're obsessing over it. I'm letting you know, stop, <laughs> stop. Always hold truth. Whatever you focus on expands. It's true, it's true, it's true. So if you're focusing on your business, guess what's going to happen to your business? It's going to grow and expand and get a lot of money in the door. But if you're focusing on someone else's business, guess what happens to yours? Nothing. So make sure you're intentional with doing your competitor's research and then cutting them out of the equation. The next marketing strategy that definitely doesn't work for any event business in our industry is using one marketing tool. Although in my coaching program, I emphasize for my designers to utilize Instagram as one of the main marketing strategies to build traffic and get clients into the door, it's not the only one. And that's a big mistake a lot of people make when it comes to their businesses because the only using social media as their marketing tool. A lot of what I teach is making sure that you understand there are other marketing strategies that work. One that you can do today, which is word of mouth, which is one of the hardest things for my designers to do. They just don't like talking to people. Is that you? <laughs> Word of mouth is the most powerful. Other marketing strategies that you can definitely incorporate in your business, specifically in your event business, is Google SEO, which is search engine optimization, ensuring that you're using certain keywords that Google uses in order to get you in front of potential clients. Another thing you could definitely incorporate that a lot of people do on their own is their websites. Websites are a big way to attract a different clientele, maybe because your clients might find you on your website, but then funnel into your Instagram as well so you want to make sure you're at least having somewhere where people can find you on Google which is usually what a website does and then the last thing a lot of I always tell my designers is community outreach again this is one of the hardest things for any designer to do they don't like talking to people <laughs> And I get it, most of you guys are introverts and you don't want to talk about your business because you feel embarrassed, you don't want to ask for money, you don't want people to know, maybe you're just getting started. Honey, you got to get over it. <laughs> you got to get over it. You got to move on and you have to talk about your business. When you talk about your business, other people will too. So that way you create the momentum to get going with these clients because marketing walks hand in hand with sales. You're going to keep hearing me saying that. Embed it into your memory. Marketing and sales walk hand in hand. The next marketing strategy that my designers sometimes make, but I tend to see a lot of people who don't book my services do, is spending money on advertising. Yeah, let's talk about that. You know I like to keep it very real on this channel. <laughs> I'm going to just pitch it. If you're going to spend money on ads, why don't you just spend money on a mentor? <laughs> 
spend money on a mentor they will save you a lot more money and in fact mentors help make you money so just cut that out of your strategy if you're utilizing including like boosting it for a little bit of dollars paying for ads is like throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping it sticks you're not intentional with each strand of spaghetti to see if it does you're hoping one does that's what advertising is you're throwing an ad in front of cold traffic that's what it's called right cold leads which basically means people who don't know you in hopes that they buy your services that doesn't work that's not how it works now you might be asking yourself uh justine so you're telling me paying for ads is a bad thing no i'm not saying that at all but if you start paying for ads way too early on in your business you're going to get frustrated because you're throwing so much money out there and it's not converting into a sale and and, and like like i said before if you're gonna throw money and spaghetti at the wall just throw it at me i will help you get more money <laughs> Look at this screenshot right here of one of my designers making more. It's possible. Don't throw your money into something you don't know how to utilize. Instead, worry about doing free organic traffic. That's a lot of what I teach when it comes to my designers getting in front of the clients. All right, so the next thing that we're going to discuss when it comes to marketing strategies that really don't work in your event business is not having a website. And I know we discussed a little bit about why you should, but hear me out as to why really it's a great marketing marketing strategy that you're missing out when it comes to your event business so I did a poll on my Instagram stories and I actually always go live from time to time on my Instagram and I found out that a lot of people have a lot of money when it comes to starting their event business a lot of you guys are making money and starting off with a couple of hundred dollars as your minimum rate which is amazing I'm so happy for you but if you're starting to make a little bit of money and you don't have a website I'm letting you know right now it doesn't look as professional as you say it is now you might be saying so you mean to tell me I have to have a website in order to attract clientele no you don't to be honest a website might not even guarantee to attract clients however i want you to think of a website as your business card your business card is basically your brand's personality and that's what a website does if a website looks like a diy project unfortunately some people are going to want to book your services but they are not a dream client a website attracts people who are not just on instagram but who might be utilizing google to search for balloon style or draping or customized treats to your business I always think as Instagram as a great way to get started but your website is probably what creates people to funnel into your Instagram now what's one thing we learned marketing and sales walk hand in hand so again if you need help with booking your dream clients I would definitely download this um, free resource for you I will link it down below this video I hope you guys continue designing your dreams to reality let me know if you have any questions it might be featured in the next video and I'll catch you you guys in the next one bye it feels good to be back because i've been gone for so long it feels great <laughs> i'm back baby better than ever <laughs>